front of the Amarok. Now I have cheated a little bit and already put the bonnet up. Welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi on this beautiful sunny day. My name is Mark Hoffman and there's our normal video presenter, other Mark, Mark McGregor over there. You might just see him wandering past, see? The YouTube stars. Over here we are going to be talking about a 2011 Volkswagen Amarok Ultimate Edition. I'm a massive fan of the Volkswagen product. They just look brilliant and they work. Now this video, as you know from inquiring on this car, does have a couple of Ks on the car. I did not know that when I saw this car, it presents that well. So this video is going to be mostly about condition, condition, condition on this car. First thing we'll start out with the Amarok Ultimate Edition, it does come in the champagne, metallic champagne colour, which really does set it off apart from the other Trader Utes out there. We do have a couple of very minor scuff marks just on the bumper bar here. Now I'm being really picky, but there's a couple of minor ones. Do have the fog lights there, as well as the uh, Ultimate Edition gives you a little bit of chrome on the front as well. Slimline number plate. Now you might have seen uh, Volkswagen's campaign recently about the naked ute, where they strip one of these things down and prove that it could uh, really, really perform. So you might know how good these cars are from that ad campaign they've been doing. On the side now, you'll see straight up, you get the big alloy wheels, you do have road tyres on this car because that's where it's going to live most of the time on the freeway roaming around. You do have the little ultimate badge here just to let everyone else know you've bought the good one. We do have chrome trims on the mirrors, big mirrors in the Amarok. We do have the, the uh, stainless side steps there as well making getting in and out easier. We do have on the back here privacy glass, no tint up the front but do speak to our aftermarket consultant about that, they can organise that sort of thing for you. At the back, yet again, the big alloy wheel unmarked here as well. Obviously, we've got uh, Continental Road tyres on the back of this one as well. Great condition there. One thing to note, we do have the big, large, quite tall actually, makes me feel very short standing next to this car, chrome roll bar there. Sports bar, I think, is the correct term. As well as the colour-coded hard lid. Coming down the back of this vehicle now, you'll notice we do have reversing sensors on the big chrome step, as well as the tow bar kit there as well. Big badging, just to let you know you've bought a Volkswagen Amarok. Probably should have another ultimate badge on the back to let people you've passed know as well. Coming down the passenger side of the car, this is generally where you do see the damage from fingernails, kids, concrete gutter, that sort of thing. None of that here. Couple of minor blemishes, that's it. We've got a little blemish here on the skirt, just there. And a little one here just in front of the skirt there. That one's very minor. That one's been touched up already. This alloy wheel has a little tiny scuff just there. Looks like it's just touched the paint. Hasn't damaged the wheel actually. Good condition rear tyre as well. Coming down to the side of the vehicle now, we do have a couple of minor, one, two, three, four, five little stone chips there that have been touched up in the champagne colour there. But overall presents in brilliant condition. No signs of dents or scratches on the step either. Coming up a little bit further to the front guard now. The front wheel here is in really good condition, can't find a mark on it. Looks like we've put brand new tyres on the front of this car as well. So overall the condition of this car externally is just amazing, really good condition. So around the front of the Amarok, now I have cheated a little bit and already put the bonnet up. What we're going to talk about is fuel economy, power and condition again. As you'll see, very clean engine bay in there. You are looking at a four cylinder, two litre intercooled turbo diesel on this car and you'll notice really, really clean there. Now we've got 120 kilowatts of power, 400 newton meters of torque, combined up to a six speed manual transmission, four by four capable of course. That is gonna deliver 7.9 liters to the 100 on the average cycle. Out of a cheap to fill 80 liter tank, you're gonna get in excess of a thousand kilometers of driving range out of this car. That's amazing. Right, due to the magic of video editing, we're now at the back of the Amarok now. Lot to talk about back here. Obviously, we've got the big sports bar, the hard lid we covered off before. Nice big chrome step with reverse sensors in it as well. Do have the 2.8 ton rated tow kit there is the flat pin plug. Probably never going to get a speeding fine from an above camera because it can't see that plate hidden away there. There's a bit of a bonus for you. We'll just open up the uh, canopy here. 
lift that up nice and clean out of our way we can drop the tailgate down as well one thing you'll note is we have found the tools for the car there you go sitting there thank you detailers we do have the volkswagen tub liner as well you will note we do have a set of floor mats one thing to make very clear on this car we only have three we have the two front ones and one back one we are including them with the car though so amazing condition back here as well right inside the amarok ultimate edition now and such a nice plate of place to be I really do like my Volkswagen product and this car in particular with the brown leather absolutely love it I reckon it looks absolutely spot on a lot better than grey cloth or anything else these cars usually come with and a lot of features inside the Amarok they drive brilliantly now with this car the story is just going to get better and better from the condition on the outside we'll start our normal tour as we normally do on the right hand side here have our power window switches here and good thing is we have auto up and auto down on them as well which is nice we do have our window power mirror controls as well nice big mirrors with the folded out bit on the edge there to see a little bit further out that way headlight height adjustment so if you've got a trailer full of stuff or you've put stuff in the back you can adjust the headlights down so you're not blinding people good feature that one headlight switch down here as well as our little fog light switch of course over to the left we've got our dash brightness there probably just leave it on full we do have two flip keys for this car as well as the canopy keys as well hidden down there move the steering wheel so you can see it on the right hand side here we have our trip computer on the end here as well as our wiper settings here and the sort of speed you want them to be coming across the leather wrap steering wheel which looks unmarked brilliant condition on the steering wheel here one thing I like with the Volkswagens, not covered in hundreds of buttons, just nice and easy to use. On the left side here, we have our cruise control on, off, up, down, as well as our headlight and indicator controls. One thing to note, we do have a little button there that does adjust the steering wheel. We do have reach and height adjust on this car. Set it where you want it and relax. Above that, we do have the nice easy to read speedo and tachometer. 100 kilometers an hour, dead up in the straight position, nice and easy to use. Simple little fuel gauge. Currently showing 164,000 kilometers on this car and you would not guess it by looking at it. Coming across, you will notice we do have the brown dashboard pad up here as well, surrounded by black as well, nice look. One thing to note with the Amarok, and I think it's a brilliant idea. So many people go out and fit the Navmans and block off all their view, but if you get the little, little normal Navman, pop it in here, it's actually a 12 volt socket in here to power it. So there's no ugly wires hanging all over your dashboard. A brilliant idea just there, I like that one. Continuing on from our socket there, I have a bit of a coughing fit there, my apologies. We do have our big cup holder here, fit your big 7-Eleven Slurpee in there quite happily. Got a nice fully featured audio system is here, really easy to use as well. This guy has been optioned with the Bluetooth phone kit here, is a Volkswagen kit, works very very well, even has a little button there to dim it down at night time, I like that, they think of everything. Coming down, we have our air conditioning set up here. As you'd expect, where you want it, how much temperature in dual zone as well, how much fan. We've currently got it to auto and AC. Probably one a little lower than 20, to be honest. And when you change the temperature, it does show up there. Yeah, and it's just gone to full bore, which is not that loud, but we'll just top it down to setting four of six and just enjoy it. Coming down a bit further, we do have a cigarette socket there for the times you were allowed to smoke in a car. A 12 volt socket here to charge your phone as well. There's a big bin here for all of your many things. We've got enough button blanks here if you wanted to put spotlights or whatever you wanted. You can fit all the little blanks here. On my side of the six speed manual here, trick to note with this one, reverse is actually pop it down and to get reverse. So reverse and first are in the same spot, but you pop it down to get reversed in this car. As you can see when you do that, you do get a little reverse graph there and a little beep to tell you the sensors are on. Pop it back into normal. Over here we've got stability control off, useful if you're off-road and you want wheel spin. Of course you've got your four-wheel drive system as well as a little button there to tell the car you are planning on going off-road. Coming back from there we've got two big cup holders, we've got the leather brown cover there. Under there we do have our handbrake takes up part of the glove box, but still a very large glove box. What I'm going to get my cameraman to do is just zoom around the interior. He might have to lean forward because you will notice down on the floor there you do have the ultimate steel, stainless steel trims on the door and the floor there as well. You might not see it from that angle. Brilliant brown leather seats on this car, really sets it apart. You do get the brown leather as well as nice stitching on the door trims as well. My cameraman's going to pause and I'm going to again come back this way and go down here. We do have two what they look like rather large cup holders but you probably wouldn't want to use them while driving they're not very deep but they are there as well in the floor coming back to the seat here obviously we've got our brown leather seat here as well 
nice and brilliant condition, no sign of any sort of damage back here either. We do have the ISO fix child seat anchor points across the bottom as well. Now my cameraman is 190 centimeters tall and he actually hopped in the car and goes, this is very comfortable. So you can take his word for that. It's very comfortable in the back of this car and lots of headroom. I can currently see his head is not touching the roof. Coming back around to the front of the car now, I'm gonna rummage into the books. We have many books, as all Volkswagens come with many, many books for many, many manuals. Now in this car, we will note we do have a service book. I'm just gonna get up to it. The Volkswagen books are a little bit different in the way they do it. By the looks of this car, it has had full, full service history. We've got 16,000 at Volkswagen, 32 at Volkswagen. We have 50,000 at Volkswagen again. Coming across, we've got 60,000 at Volkswagen. Then we've got 83,000 at Volkswagen. Looks like we've got an intermediate service possibly in there. As I said, their servicing books are a little different to us. 92,000 here at Volkswagen again. Then we switch over to Motor Pro in Ballarat. It's still in Victoria, country Victoria, so country kilometers, that's nice to see. 100,000 there, 117,000 again, 129,000 again, 148,000 again. 159,000 and then done by us again when we brought it into stock only a few kilometers ago where they did a 125 point safety check and a full roadway certificate which it passed with flying colors. Don't forget to ask your salesperson while we're talking about service history about a five year mechanical plan that we can do for this vehicle which now includes five years of roadside assist as well. So amazing condition outside, brilliant condition inside great great service history on this vehicle as well the story is just getting better and better thank you for watching this video walk around tour of our 2011 amarok ultimate edition as you've seen on the condition of the outside amazing amazing condition presents brilliantly looks great inside with the brown leather interior looks just as good service books power economy towing it ticks every box do be very quick for this ultimate edition give us a call and the numbers about to appear on your screen and we look forward to talking to you then thank you for watching